so yeah hey everybody look what's going on my name is terry welcome back to the channel hope you guys and gals are doing well now this video here is long overdue and even though this is a sure sm7b you might be thinking to yourself terry it doesn't only really sound as good as it normally does what happened well i'll show you what happened here okay i went ahead and made a new profile based off the default settings inside of my go xlr profiler here of the software and I have no noise gate, I have absolutely zero EQ, I have no compression, and I, sorry about that guys, I have no compression and I have no de as well. And I did that because I wanted to simulate somebody that might not have the luxury of having a Go XLR or even a Go XLR Mini or to go even further than that, just a mixer of any kind, you know. A lot of people out there are using USB microphones, and you know what? That is totally fine. There are actually quite a few ways to make your microphone sound very, very good inside of OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, now called Streamlabs Desktop, built right into it that cost absolutely zero money. They are filters, and they might add a little bit to your CPU usage for OBS or Streamlabs desktop, but folks, I'm telling you, will make the world of difference on how your microphone sounds and how well it sounds to your audience's ears, okay? So with that being said, let's add some filters of this thing. Okay, so after you have your sound sources already set up here in OBS Studio, you want to go ahead and go to the fader here that is reacting to your microphone. So your microphone fader, I already have mine labeled something different here so I know exactly what it is. But to add a filter here, fam, it's very, very simple, okay? All you got to do is this here. You're going to hit the little cogwheel, hit filters. And the first one we're going to apply is some noise suppression because if it wasn't obvious here, I have a fan going in my room on high and also my window air conditioner. Sort of kind of like a worst case scenario for any streamer setup here, right? So what you want to do is this here. Hit the plus sign here, hit noise suppression, keep the name, that's just fine. Now, I always recommend you leave it on RN Noise. This is the best non-RTX noise suppression I have ever heard and it works very very well so i'm going to be be quiet here for a second and you shouldn't be able to hear anything yeah i didn't shut any, anything off my fans are still going my air conditioner is still going so i'm going to turn off noise suppression and you all should be able to hear that i just turned it back on and it should be gone Pretty cool, right? And now we're going to add some compression to sort of kind of level your microphone out here, okay? Going to hit the plus sign again. Going to go to compressor. Go ahead and give it that same name. That's just fine. And now these stock values are way too aggressive in my opinion, okay? So I'm going to use the standard ratio of 4 to 1. So go ahead and take this slider, drag it down to right about there to where it says 4.0021. And now for your threshold, you want to go ahead and drag this down to around negative 25. And folks, these settings here... These are essentially the basic industry standard settings that I've seen everybody use, and they also work well for me too, okay? So this is what I'm recommending to you all now. Now, you might notice here whenever you add the compressor, you actually lower your overall volume of your microphone, okay? So what you can do here is you could actually add some output gain to bring this back up, okay? And this is a very common misconception I see whenever we're talking about microphones here. Everybody always thinks that you want to peak to around negative 20 to negative 15 decibels for your voice. But the truth is, is that you want to actually get into the red around negative 5, negative 6 dB. You're not going to peak and you'll still have a little bit of headroom before you go past 0 dB on your uh, levels here and everything on the faders. And the fact of the matter here is, folks, that if you're too loud, people can turn you down. But if you're not loud enough they can only turn up their speaker so much. You know what I mean? Then on top of that, your other sources for audio have to be quieter as well to not be louder than you. So that would mean that your music or game volume has to just be that much quieter. So you actually want that volume, okay? So with that being said, we're gonna go back into the filters here. So again, hit, hit the cogwheel, filters, go back to the compressor. 
And as you all can see right now, because of this compressor, I am peaking right around negative 15 to negative 13 decibels, right? But I'm going to go ahead and take this output gain and crank it up a little bit until I'm peaking right around like negative 5. Like right there. Okay, so that's technically I peaked it right around like negative 2. So I'm going to take this down to like right here. So like how about 7? Will that work right there? Okay, so now I'm peaking right around negative five. That is just fine. And as you'll see, it made me a little bit louder, but I'm still not actually clipping. And that's what you want to do, okay? Now, after that, let's say that you get really excited in game and you actually yell, scream, or whatever. What if you peak a little bit too high and you start clipping? Well, everybody, there's actually a really good way to get rid of that, and it's right here, okay? You want to hit the plus sign again. You want to go to limiter. Hit OK or name it whatever you want. And then what you want to do is you want to take this and limit yourself to right around negative 2, negative 2.8 decibels just like this here. And that way, no matter how loud you get, you will never go past that. So that way there, just in case if the compressor doesn't squash your volume the way it should, your limiter will always be there in the background to make sure you don't actually peak and sound bad. So yeah, everybody, look, with all that being said, with about 5-10 minutes worth of work, you can make your USB microphone sound really, really, really good. Like, next level stuff, you know what I mean? And if you want to, you can even add an equalizer. Now, I'm not going to go over that in this video because an, an equalizer, that will depend on your environment and your voice. But let me tell you something here, folks. With a, with a really basic EQ... I was able to make a $100 Rode pod mic sound just like my Shure SM7B. So with a little bit of tweaking, you can make a $50 USB microphone sound like a million bucks. So hey, look, I hope this might have helped somebody out there. Go out there, clean up your audio, have a lot of fun. And you know what, fam? Happy streaming.